Well, right now we are monitoring lingering power outages in the region. The latest from Duke Energy showing less than 15,000 without power. And check out these images from Jefferson, South Carolina and Chesterfield County. You can see power lines caked in ice, plants frozen in place and icicles hanging from the store awnings and signs. WCNC Charlotte's Lana Harris live on the South Carolina border tonight. We're seeing some people there still in the dark tonight. Lana, what's being done right now to help those people? You know, crews are just working around the clock at this point. Duke Energy officials tell me that Lancaster County actually had the second highest number of outages in the state at the peak of the outages. That last check for them, uh, which was within the last hour or so, there were still around 800 customers without power. And officials are just saying how quickly it's restored to everyone really just depends on the conditions. At Belfair Farms in Lancaster County. Be calm, be calm. The horses are finally able to take a walk outside after sheltering from the ice event. Were you expecting all this snow and all these uh, outages? No. Scott Curry says the farm never lost power, but his home did. Crazy. No power, no shower, nothing. Curry says he and his wife decided to stay in their camper until it's restored. So we have moved into the farm to be able to feed the horses twice a day. Tyson Blanton with Duke Energy says at the peak of the outages, there were nearly 7,000 customers without power. We saw over a quarter inch of ice accumulation throughout the county. Um, that's piling up on tree branches and falling onto those power lines, and that's really causing the outages throughout the area. And Darren Player with Lancaster County Emergency Management says other power companies in the area had it worse. Mitchell's River by far had the most damage to their infrastructure. Normally, um, they're able to get things back up pretty quickly. This storm hit their service area really hard with a lot of trees that fell. Blanton says crews have been working around the clock to restore power. Yeah, so right now we're kind of thinking that everybody in Lancaster County is going to be back on by the end of the day. Um, obviously, that's pending. No more bad conditions, especially with the wind that we're seeing that could cause more outages. Curry says he's looking forward to it. Well, yes, <laughs> I hope it is. I'm sure a lot of people out there are hoping it is. Again, Duke Energy officials say they believe everybody's power should be be restored just before midnight. They estimated around 1145. They just ask that you move over and drive carefully around their crews as again, these roads are expected to refreeze overnight if they're wet. Lana Harris, WCNC Charlotte. Lana, thank you.